Hey Firebirds, welcome back. This is your girl Phoenix Alexander and today we're gonna remix this wig I got from VIP Wigs a year ago. Like this wig was my best buy of 2020. Um, it lasted the entire year beautifully and I'm just coloring it now because I want something different. I have a bunch of blonde wigs now and um, I really wanted, you know, something with some pop in it. So I bought two bottles of Adore Truly Red, I believe it's called. I'm gonna leave the exact name in the description. So when I do my watercolor, you guys, I actually like to use a bowl, um, this metal bowl in particular, instead of using a larger container. I feel like the color just really absorbs better in this bowl. Um, I don't have to use as much product. Like I've never had to buy more than two bottles of color um, to dye any of my wigs, no matter what length it is, because I just used a bowl. So give it a shot, you guys. I mean, it's a lot more cost effective than, you know, four, five, six bottles. Um, and it works just as well. So I'm dipping it twice, but realistically, the first time was good. Um, this hair is a lower density unit. I wanna say it's like either 130 or 150. So the color, it just went straight through and I had absolutely no issues with this wig. Um, so you'll notice the lace did tint a little bit. And I find that usually happens like when I'm coloring a older wig that I've worn already. I actually didn't mind it in this case because I feel like the red tint actually kind of helped to blend the lace a little bit more um, because the color was kind of an ash color anyway. <laughs> so the red helped. So now that we've dipped this twice, um, we're pretty much all done you guys and I want to say the whole watercoloring process took me five minutes. like. It was so fast. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and alcohol our hairline. And I like to use a soft cloth for this, but you can use whatever, you guys. You just wanna get any makeup or debris you have on your forehead off. And you will probably notice this outfit in another video. I don't know which one um, I'm posting up first, but I did record two videos in one day. <laughs> so that's why you see it twice. So here is our dry unit. And I think the pattern is actually pretty nice. I think they say that it's a loose wave. To me, it kind of looks like a body wave, but it's a cute wearable pattern. So today we're using our Kiss Almighty Bond and we're gonna do three layers of this. I did three layers um, this day. If you want it to last a really long time, then do four. Hey y'all, when I recorded this video, I had literally just got my second um, you know, cootie shot done. And my arm was on fire. Like trying to put that wig up there. Y'all don't understand all of outtakes of me going, oh, ooh, ooh, oh my God, uh. <laughs> but it was totally worth it, you know. Get your cootie shot, guys. All right, so I'm just laying this down. And, um,. I love this color, like the burgundy color on top, and then with the fiery red, like, yes, this was a good wig remix. So I just like to go through with my comb and lay it down. That way I'm not really putting my hands on the actual glue area. And you're just gonna adjust. Ignore my concentration tongue. You're gonna see my concentration tongue hang out. I do not want your judgment, okay? This is a safe space for me and my tongue. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now we are gonna do something with these extra long baby hairs. Now, I've noticed there's this new trend of like really fancy, soft baby hairs. Um, I'm, I'm gonna try it, I'm gonna try it, you're gonna see. 
So we used our Soft Honey from LA Girls. That's my favorite powder. It's the closest to me. So if you are me complected, um, it'll be a good powder for y'all. And I like to go a little bit around the perimeter. And this brush is everything, y'all. It's actually for eyebrows, but now it's my hairline brush because I like to apply my powder with one end and then I use the little, you know, what is it called, the mag? Whatever, we're moving along. You saw what I did. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna cut these baby hairs down because they're definitely like adults. They just graduated from college and we are cutting them off. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use my flat iron for this. Just trying these little Bridgerton baby hairs. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what they're called. These little Daphne's from Bridgerton. So I'm going to uh, brush down my Daphne's. <laughs> for the rest of the video, I'm just going to call them Daphne's because now that I've said it, that's what it is. Um, moving forward, they might be Daphne's. I'm not sure. But yeah, um, I swooped my Daphne's. This is the finished look. Quick, easy. And you ready to go. But yeah, VIP, this was a bomb wig. You guys, I highly recommend it. And um, yeah, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>